Today, the world mourns the loss of comic book anchor Jerry Allen Gleeland, born Thorteo Gerardo Allen Gleeland, N. Allen Gleeland Jr., but known as Jerry, as well as his alias and Twitter handle, Comic Hero, K O M I K E R O. And it's just, this is a name that I've seen, seen quite a bit. And I had to wear my X Men shirt because he's worked on a lot of X Men with his frequent collaborator, Lenil. Francis Yu, who's also worked on, they worked on Superman Birthright together, as well as, like I said, current, that current X-Men run, and also he apparently he's worked on Fantastic Four, which I did not know, and what works, old throwback image, image stuff there, so I guess, and apparently Wolverine as well, but if you've seen on Twitter, probably on Facebook, I imagine as well as making the rounds, the news, making the rounds there, but Passed away, age of 51, and so just want to say rest in peace to Jerry and just peace and love to his family and not only his wife and the rest of his family, close friends as they mourn this and I don't know if they celebrate Christmas, but that's just such a anytime, any th anytime throughout the year, but especially as you kind of go into Christmas and just kind of dealing with it, something like that is... We're just a few days away, so that's just it's just such that's such such heavy thing to kind of see and deal with going to the holidays. But I want to talk about Jerry and as I said, some of the books that he's worked on, but he's also worked on two popular titles that he self published, writ a uh, wrote and drew one called Wasted. That's about this boy who lost his father and his girlfriend and he just kind of takes out to get Revenge and apparently death as well, and just I guess something to do with maybe his rage and anger. I don't know, but it's called Wasted. And I actually I was looking it up because just kind of looking at some of Jerry's work that he's worked on previous, especially just always curious about kind of the early works in different people's careers, and especially when they're doing self published work because writing and drawing a book <laughs> that's just such a massive undertaking. So Quite a task for anybody to take on, but apparently those were, that was a popular book. And another one, which was called, what was it, Elmer, which deals with a chicken. So it's basically in this world where chickens achieve, uh, I don't know, I guess a level of human intelligence and they become, I don't know, I don't say self-aware, not robots, but they... I don't know, they gain just higher intelligence and begin speaking and it kind of deals with this chicken who centers around this one chicken, I guess second generation, if you want to call it that, and it kind of sees his, he comes across his father's diary, I guess, after his father dies and kind of learns about just kind of this role of civil rights, chicken civil rights, I guess, you kind of see there. But those are just two titles, Wasted and Elmer, that... He's worked on, and yeah, I really just wanted to just kind of just throw this out there for people to see if you hadn't heard the news. And I said, worked on just currently working on title now. You can even like he's talked about it, and I went to his YouTube channel, and kind of he talked about it there. Just I think I don't know weeks, month. He was just talking about some of the issues. He just finished wrapping an issue of X Men and getting ready for the next one. And it's just kind of thing that just hits. And I went to his Twitter. Just one of his last tweets was talking about being in pain. So that could have been something that led to his passing. But again, still just... Uh, that's just the comic world mourns. I mean, the world outside of that. Because he has this... Apparently, he just has this massive YouTube following. Which part of it stemmed from some video. This Hey Baby video. Smile video or something like that. Where it's just him... Take it, it's, it's kind of funny, I just watched it because I, I never saw this video before. Didn't even know he was on YouTube like this. But there's this video where he's just randomly, like, he's just, for like a minute straight, to all these random poses and just kind of doing this, like, this mischievous grin kind of thing. And it's just absolutely just funny. He just keeps doing it in random places. I think at one point he takes a sip of something he's drinking and just keeps doing it. <laughs> it's just a great video. I'll link that in the description below. Go check that out. And then there was another video which I was just absolutely cracking up at. It was just hilarious. He's just talking about food, how he thinks about food all the time. 
I'll post that one in the description below. But he just says how since no one had left questions on his previous video, on the previous video before that, that he wasn't sure what he was going to talk about. There was nothing, says nobody asked a question that would lead to a discussion for video. He said, I guess I could talk about what I have for lunch because, you know, I have a secret I want to share with all of you. I just think about food all the time. And you have to go watch this video. Seriously, it's only not even eight minutes, seven minutes or something. And that, like, that line, I can't even do it justice. But you have to actually witness him say it himself. Like, it's something about the delivery that just, it tickled the hell out of me because I was just cracking up watching this video. And I even tweeted about it. And I figured, you know what, let me just, I want to put this up on YouTube for the people. Because it's comics, I don't want to do all hauls, and I don't want for Stan Lee. And here's a guy who has quite a following in comics and on YouTube, as I said. So just want to give this fellow a shout out. A Filipino artist, and has worked with, there's quite a few popular and talented Filipino artists out there. He's from specifically San Pablo, Laguna. And it's just, yeah, as far as I know, he's still residing out there and just working out there. He's done a lot of work for Marvel over the years. And they've had quite a few artists out there. As I said, one of his frequent collaborators, Lino Francis Yu, who actually just discovered how to, how to finally pronounce his name. I always thought it was Lainio, but I believe it is Lino Francis. Lino, Lino or Lino? That's hard to wasn't quite not quite 100 percent sure based on but the video the audio was kind of hard to hear but uh we knew francis you one of his collaborators a lot of x-men work together and yeah i just wanted to give a shout out to him just because his inker and inkers don't always get the credit they do and clearly if you go watch just a couple of his videos you can see the personality just come just flowing out of him and i just bet he was probably just just a cool ass dude to just hang around and talk comics or just talk food, whatever. Just imagine a conversation. Go watch some of the videos and those last ones, especially about food. And just imagine sitting around having a conversation about food. And <laughs> they were talking about how, or he mentioned how people in uh, Philippines might eat spaghetti, eat spaghetti for breakfast. And there's just kind of things like, yeah, there's just, there's just sometimes they just do that. And and talking about how much, just think about food, to think about food all the time. Oh, like, I mean, after he eats, after he eats breakfast, what am I going to have for lunch? After lunch, what is he going to have for dinner? And then after dinner, what are we going to have for breakfast? So that type of thing. So it was just hilarious. And just want to give a shout out to him and just say, RIP, rest in peace, rest in power, Jerry Allen Gwilin. Your work will live on. And I'm sure there are tons of stories from family, close friends, and comics creators he's worked with, and some who hasn't, but he just maybe have been around, whatever, and I'm sure the Filipino comic book community is probably, I imagine there's just tons of artists out there as well, just putting out tons of independent content, and he definitely has a, must have a huge following out there as well, but, so yeah, just wanted to say that out there, share the news, just in case people hadn't heard it. As I said, you can check Twitter and tons of creators are chiming in, creators and fans as well. And I wanted to just kind of add that and share it with you all just in case you have known. If not, then you can go check out some of his work. And as I said, I've encountered a lot of his work, Mar his Marvel work. And I do want, I never read Superman Birthright, but that's a book that I've wanted to read in the past. And I just never got a chance to, but I do want to as well as check out his self-published work, Wasted and Elmer. So... I will be looking into those as well, and I recommend you do as well. Just go check it out, just to read some more about them. And but yeah, so that's that. Uh, <laughs> just rest in peace, Jerry, Jerry Allen Gwilin, Allen Gwilin, and uh, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and peace out.